Welcome to the project. This is an AWS cloud computing project. The name of this project is Lift and Shift Application Workload. And we're going to lift our application, vProfile, and shift it on AWS Cloud. Let's understand about this project. In previous project, we have seen a multi-tier web application stack, vProfile, by using Vagrant. In this project, we are going to host and run it on AWS Cloud for production. And we are going to use a lift and shift strategy for this. After going through this project, you will learn how to run application workload on AWS cloud by using a lift and shift strategy. Let's understand the scenario. We have, let's say application services, which are running on physical or virtual machines. There could be various services like databases, Postgres, Oracle, application services like Tomcat, even LAMP stack, DNS services, and various kinds of services that powers our application. And we have all this workload in our data center. So, so many servers running varieties of services on your local data center. To manage all this, you will need multiple teams working around the clock. We will need virtualization team for running virtualization platform, data center operations team for data center related operations work, monitoring team to monitor 24 by 7 and system admin team of course. Managing all these services, servers, and teams is complex. It becomes more complex if you want to scale up or scale down, which needs to be done very regularly. There's a huge cost for procuring all these resources and also regular maintenance cost. Most of the processes in this will be manual. If you have a virtualization layer on top of it, it is possible to automate those things, but it's really difficult to do it and also to maintain it. And not to mention all these things are very time consuming. Solution to all this problem is to have a cloud computing setup. So instead of running our workload in our data center, we run it on a cloud computing platform where we don't pay for the upfront co cost for procuring the resource. We pay as we go. Consuming infrastructure as a service. Just like electricity. We get flexibility. It's elastic in nature. We can scale out or scale in and really control our cost. So managing infrastructure becomes easier. And most important, we can do automation. We can automate each and every step and process to avoid human errors and save our time, of course. We are using AWS Cloud Computing and we'll see what all the services that we are going to use in this project. Starting with EC2 instances. EC2 instances will be our VMs for Tomcat, RabbitMQ, Memcache, and MySQL servers. We'll be also using Elastic Load Balancer, which will be a replacement of our Nginx service. We'll be using Auto Scaling service, which will automatically scale out and scale in our EC2 instances which will automatically control our resources and also our cost. For storage, we will be using S3 or EFS server and also root 53 for our private DNS service. Along with these, we'll be using few more services like IAM, ACM, EBS, 
etc etc let's make sure our objectives are clear we want a flexible infrastructure we want pay as we go model we don't want to pay upfront cost we would like to modernize our application more effectively by using aws services and we also want automation infrastructure as a code now we will see architectural design of aws setup that we will be creating we are using ec2 instances elastic load balancer auto scaling s3 for storage amazon certificate manager and a route 53 service well this is the stack from our previous project where we had all the services on virtual machines on our computer nginx apache tomcat rabbit mq memcached and mysql we are going to shift this stack on aws cloud once we have our stack on aws cloud our architectural design will be like this users will access our website by using a url and that url will be point to an endpoint this entry will be mentioned in godaddy dns user browsers or the app will use this endpoint then to connect to the load balancer by using https the certificate for https encryption will be mentioned in acm amazon certificate manager service so user will access application a load balancer endpoint our load balancer will be in a security group and will only allow https traffic and then our application load balancer will route the request to tomcat instances apache tomcat service will be running on some set of ec2 instances which will be managed by our auto scaling group so as per high or low load these instances capacity will be scaled out or scaled in these EC2 instances where Tomcat is running will be in a separate security group and will only allow traffic on port 8080 only from load balancer. We know our application V profile application sits on Tomcat instance. We have seen this in our previous project and our application needs backend servers which are MySQL, Memcache and RabbitMQ. Information of backend services or the backend server IP address will be mentioned in a root 53 private dns zone so our tomcat instances will access backend server with a name which will be mentioned in root 53 private dns where the private ip address of our backend servers will be mentioned these backend ec2 instances which which will be running mysql rabbitmq memcache will be in a separate security group So the AWS services which are in use over here are first Amazon certificate manager for https certificate application load balancer set of ec2 instances for tomcat memcache rabbitmq and mysql three separate security groups amazon route 53 for dns private zones and also there is amazon s3 bucket to store our software artifacts now i recommend you pause the video and watch this architectural diagram once again we'll start the execution now and this is the flow of execution first we will log into our aws account we're going to create key pairs which we'll use to log into our ec2 instances we'll create security groups for load balancer tomcat and backend services will launch instances with user data which will be our bash scripts will update ip to name mapping in root 53 we're going to then build our application from source code this will do it on our local machine on our laptop and we'll upload our artifact to s3 bucket from s3 bucket we'll download our artifact to ec2 instance where tomcat service will be running 
Then we'll set up a load balancer with HTTPS connection. We'll map our elastic load balancer endpoint to a website name in GoDaddy DNS and we'll verify. Once we verify our entire setup, then we'll build an auto scaling group for our Tomcat instances. So now it's time to dive into AWS.